Let's begin with how to record a tree's sonic tomogram. The first step is to inspect the tree visually to identify possible defects. And you set the measuring level where you can see or hear a possible defect. This is where we need the nails. When the sound changes, you're through the bark into the wood. Every measuring point is given a number. With the caliper, I can determine the exact geometry of the tree quickly and simply. When all the distances have been measured, the display shows the outline. Now I'm going to prepare the acoustic measurement itself. Position the sensors one after the other, starting with number one. Tilt them up from the middle. Do the same for all the other measuring points. The picus is named after the Latin for the genus of the woodpecker. So now it can live up to its name and peck at a tree. We're starting with number one. I take off the sensor for measuring point one and replace it with the hammer's tapping pin. Five short, sharp taps. It's not a question of strength. Then we carry on with number two. When we've collected the data, Picus calculates the tomogram. The pink areas represent slow stress wave velocities, green for medium and brown for fast. So brown also indicates healthy wood. The computer gives you a more accurate image and you can print it out. So this tree does have a defect, but it plays no significant role in the tree's break resistance. All the supporting roots are intact and this tree will long remain a feature in this attractive park.